Hey, how you doing? I wanted to encourage you today. I wanted to remind you that when you got born again, your spirit man became alive into God and you are perfect and entire wanting nothing. God loves you. He is so proud of you. He never gets disappointed in you. You are the apple of his eye. Amen. But you still on this earth realm have a soul that's probably not renewed and you are living in the flesh. Now, remember, this guy is selfish. He only goes by his feelings. Um, he's lazy and he's going to cause you more problems than you realize. So what is the key to living successful here? How do we serve God on the earth? It's right here in this guy, in our soul. The Bible says, don't be conformed to the world, but be renewed, but be transformed by renewing your mind. So you can prove what is the good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. What that means is start thinking like your spirit. So you can prove what the good, acceptable, and perfect will of God for your life is. But, you know, if you follow your flesh around, you're going to end up in trouble and then even feel like I must not have gotten saved. Maybe it didn't work, you know. So how do we do that? Well, the only way I know is in Hebrews 4. It tells us the word of God is quick and sharper than any two-edged sword. It'll divide asunder between what's your soul and your spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it will help you see where am I believing like my spirit? Where am I believing like my flesh? Why should I make the choices I make? And how can I make the choices I want to make? And God can show you all that in the word. You know, you got to get in your Bible. Go to a good faith-filled church. You know, listen to good faith-filled messages on, on the internet. But you can't um, do it in the flesh. People will say, don't do this and don't do that. Your flesh is going to fail you every time. It's weak. So get in the word, transform your mind, and get you some success. Amen?